following segment is sponsored by Petland. Welcome back. We have Ron joining us with Petland Iowa City, and today we're going to talk about how to keep your pets safe during the holiday season. And you know, Ron, I was just decorating this weekend, but a big thing pet owners like myself have to think about is it can be dangerous for your pet. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. Uh, in fact, we've had some scares in our household. We've had cats going up into trees, getting into stuff. We've had a dog that ate a whole brick of Baker's chocolate. Uh, make sure if anything like that does happen, contact your veterinarian right away. Uh, with experience, I've known that they actually help you very, very, very good. So, so always keep that in mind. But I want to hit some topics here that that you can keep stay out of uh, trouble. Uh, if you, if you, hopefully you stayed out during the Thanksgiving, you didn't feed the turkey, you didn't do the chocolates and all that kind of stuff. But now that we're moving into the Christmas season, we're getting those Christmas trees up. Um, some things that you want to keep in mind to not do: no flocking on the tree is the first one. Um, that's poisonous for them, so you want to keep that out. No tinsel. I didn't know anybody was still doing this until I talked to some people, and they said, "Oh yeah, tinsel can get wrapped up in the intestine and have some issues there." Um, if you've got some ornaments, you, if and you find that they're getting into them, obviously get those up higher. Get those precious ornaments that you don't want busted. Get those up even higher so that they don't get into it. Um, if you have a, a little tree like I have over here, get it elevated off the ground. That way you don't have as much issues with the little doggies going in and figuring things out. Um, know that a real tree is actually poisonous in, in, in a couple of different ways for dogs. If they ingested this, there's some uh, poisons in there, but then those sharp needles can cause some problems, again, in their t intestinal area. So know that real trees uh, are an issue. You're gonna wanna use either a little tin foil wrapping around the bottom of it and then put your blanket over that so that they can't get up the tree. Uh, or there's a product called Boundary that's really, really good. Use it sparingly. I uh, learned on myself, I did a lot of sprays and I cleared the room. All the pets in the room went out and I went, okay, I think I overdid it because they don't even want to be in the room. Uh, one spray of a product called Boundary keeps them away from the tree, but you're going to have to do it once, twice a day on that. So those are some real good tips. Oh, one last tip, no preservative in the water. My dogs will drink the water no matter how hard I try to keep them away from the water of the tree, they drink it. So don't put those preservative packets in there because those are poisonous uh, for your pets. So those are some ideas, some things that you need to keep in mind this Christmas season. And how important is it to be vigilant with these things? Um, if you're not, I, again, you're gonna have those not those unplanned visits to the veterinarian or those call, those panic calls like I've had in the past. You do not want those. You're going to avoid those uncomfortable situations and keeping the Christmas season happy rather than panicky. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for joining us, Ron. And I love to see the puppy with you today. Always yeah, I got a guess to say. Always great tips, you know, especially as a lot of people are decorating. If you have any questions for Ron, you can give him a call at Petland Iowa City at the number on your screen. That number is 319-512-7949. As always, this segment is brought to you by Petland Iowa City.